What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's going on? All right, Mike. So yes. uh, this was another fantastic episode. Uh, I tell you, man, Sherman, Lewis, Daniel, they weren't wrong. Latoya, they weren't wrong, man. This They are pulling Spot out on. all the stops bro it's yes they this are. was this was a bit of a heartbreaking episode but uh we'll get we'll get to that little we'll get to that little bit later because we do have a couple of questions about that so i guess we'll wait till uh at the the end to talk about it um dude lots of things happen in this thing uh fight scenes yes you have a favorite uh, fight the widow chow fight is i mean listen they're all good i'm not gonna it's like 1a 1 1a you know you really yeah, right. can't put them right right too far apart. I mean, I wrote for like the Pilgrim, the the Pilgrim Master fight. I was almost kind of surprised that Pilgrim kind of beat her as um as as bad as he did, especially since the Master is supposed to be um the Master. The Master, uh, right? Yeah. His it was. I wrote like his his brute strength. He was just busting through walls to get to her and just slamming her all over the place and um. Yeah, fantastic so, stuff. So hold on. Fantastic. So hold on. You think so for you that fight, I won't use the word underwhelming, but for lack of a better term. So for you it was a little curious as to why the master let herself be beaten that bad? Is that what you're trying to say? I, well, I'm not saying I that kind she of, let herself beat her. Well, like she let it happen. I, I just think that I mean, I guess listen, if if the master would have killed Pilgrim or beat his ass or something, then there would be no plot point for right. this. This episode, so I get why it is, but I would have maybe liked to see a few more shots um, landed. By right, because the you expect a master yeah. to be the mat, like you said, the master. However, she's it was using still it. Sick. It oh, was look, sick. I, it was actually my favorite fight of the episode. To okay. be honest with you, that was my favorite fight okay. of the episode because of the the raw anger and strength and in fury mm-hmm. of Pilgrim, and you know she. She held her own to a point, and you know I I don't understand exactly, but if you watch the coming attractions, she says sometimes you wait to use your power or something like that, you know. So she's like yeah, holding, so she that's... held back, but maybe she just got winded essentially, and now you know looks like she's gonna come back, and she's, you know, what I enjoyed about that at the end of that was when she was trying to heal herself, and he's like, nah, ah, ah, stop, you know. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool because <laughs> he busted up her arm and. Dude, yeah. he beat her ass. It was brutal. It was a brutal fight, and and the, I love I love the prop work they're doing in this back end of the season. That you had the dummies in the one episode crash into each other like a like a line of football players. You mm-hmm. had the two able slap up into each other like yeah they like they're they're I really love the choreography of not just the fight the people fighting but of the environment and and how they're all using the environment very Jackie Chan style to me. Um, you know, just use your environment, you know, use everything. I mean, not just Jackie Chan, but, you know, it's first thing that pops in my head. Like, you use the environment very well. Um, but anyway, yeah, great fight. Uh, you know, you... The opening fight, the initial fight, when... when uh, M- with MK fighting... In the, with, as they were getting the through. Abbots. Yeah, MK was Yeah, MK is just... Ass, yeah, man. man. He just... He put those a, double he's swords a beast, in the dude's dude. eyes. He's a beast. Uh, yeah, he's... You know, it's crazy, because for a second there, it almost seemed like... He he may have felt for the master a little bit after she was laying, yeah. and, I think so, and, and beaten because he because um, he saw maybe, her, yeah. Maybe he's getting a glimpse of 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 how Pilgrim is. I mean, obviously by the end of the episode, it kind of changes, so you don't necessarily get that impression anymore. But it definitely seems like he cares for her a bit because he asks her, um, "Why did you Why did you take the gift? Um, why did you want to take the gift from me?" Uh, she says that I knew you would be. I forgot. I forgot the exact line, but kind of like she you would knew destroy the world. Threat. She's like you would destroy yeah. everything. But now that's so, now that's curious though, because she even curious. says to him, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see Azor. Sorry, you you guys are yeah. gonna destroy the world. You're not gonna create Azor. You're not gonna see. You're not gonna rebuild Azor. And he's just like, again, he's too young and too naive to understand. He's red. He's looking red, bro. Yeah, he's con- right. Continue, but he's still a he's still good at heart. He's just very angry and brainwashed at this point Mm -hmm. well that goes to show you what i mean listen this whole episode we got some crazy information about azra we did get a lot of information we'll get to that in a second but we got and we got um and we got uh, maybe some foreshadowing of of how much more ability this the people with the gift have right so going to what uh, uh the master said about mk and it almost seems like she's she knows what the future lies so that could be like what you said earlier when you addressed the fact that maybe she did kind of um Hold yeah. back a bit. Hold back against Pilgrim because she knows. All right, these are the steps that we need to do in order to get to 
the the the, the end. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we don't right. It could be part of her. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, yeah, just just super cool stuff. Brutal fight in the beginning. The show starts off just it, it just you it, know it does not disappoint. You know, we got you know. Uh, I don't want to leave Pilgrim just yet because him him waking up the the people. The sleepers. And it's obviously draining his energy, you know? Mm-hmm, the headaches. And, um, but it's yeah, even more now, dude. It's like he was bleeding from his eyes, you know? And MK's like, are you mm-hmm. all right? He's like, oh, never been better, you know? Never better, like... Yeah. But, like, this is definitely taking a toll on him, but he's also creating his army. So it's very scary. It's very high stakes. And, um, yeah, man. I, what, well, so- let's, let's see what and how long it takes for, for Pilgrim to to drain his energy if it's increasing as he's using it more and more the gift um there was i mean i told you before we started when we were just discussing a little bit there was a cool quote with with the master and there's a lot of them but um she was saying you weren't born with the gift Mm -hmm. you know you stole it um she she mentioned plus you're using it you're using it for bad you're you're being an asshole with it yeah the darkness (laughs) is going to consume you right so it's um yeah, it's even though Quinn didn't have that the the dark power. It's very similar in how you're seeing these big, powerful, you know, leaders, yeah. you know, dealing with with um, some not some for nothing, but they're brute. They, they they're still brute forcing their way through it. That's the thing. And he's very manipulative. You know, no, he's, he's super, manipulative. super manipulative because he's turning everything that the master uh, believes Built or taught. And, yeah. Yeah, to um, yeah, you know, he's he's flip flopping it completely. But you know, around. it's curious as to it's is again as to why she put them to sleep. Still, you know, like the one kid Eli, I think his name was, was like, I want to, I was gonna go find my brother. Yeah, or and she's yeah. like, nah. But you know, but again, we don't know what she sees. We don't know that she saw the future. And if this, yeah. if this one got out, he would do this and this and this. I bet you that's. I what think we don't that's know. what it is. Yeah. So I think that's all right. What it is. So let's move forward from that because there's still a lot to talk about. Yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of major deaths, I guess you you'd say in this um uh, in this episode. Let's go to that um the the widow and Chow fight. Uh, the awesome. widow again just stone faced, you know, yeah. parrying and blocking, and that fight lasted a lot less. A lot. It ended a lot sooner than I thought it would, and I liked it. I liked that. I liked that it was just like, boom, like dude, brutal. Another brutal. Mm-hmm. Another well, brutal fight. Well, right. Lewis talks about Lewis talks about those swords and the weapon she was using there, and yeah. it was really cool how many times that she hooked the widow's blades, and then um, she hooked them. That was really cool when she hooked them yeah. herself and was and was swinging them around and trying to hit her. And the shot was perfect because you got to see it happening. You know, the shot from the top. Um, yeah, I mean the overall scene. Like, I mean, we were talking about you were saying setting, using the room and using the things around you in order to fight. Uh, I mean, being yeah. in a carnival. And and just see even before the fight. So all started, that torture. Let's talk about that for a yeah, second. You, the, we've the, got Gaius and you got Tilda. They just put down, yeah. and Gaius is getting burned, and Tilda's getting the, her ass beat. Mm-hmm. You know, and it was it was really cool. I enjoyed it. Gaius, you know, backed up Tilda. He protected Tilda for a minute, saying that he killed the mom, and then she comes out and she's like, "I did," and you know, I mean, it, it was, was a pretty sick scene, but. You know, yeah. you got to give it you got to give it up to Eleanor because she was she played that so well. It was really good to see her back in, in mm-hmm. at, as Chow again, a, a character I don't think that we've really seen enough of. Unfortunately, like that's not going to, yeah. you know, now that she's yeah. gone. But I really enjoyed that character um, and just how she explains how she broke Minerva. Her, her hair was her beautiful red hair was practically white with lice and she was skin and bone and she broke her like very just like. Yeah. You are she, she, evil, she tells, bro. Like you are she so tells evil. Tilda that um, your mother lasted two hundred and ten days or something, something like that. Yeah, this let's is day how, one. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how long you last. But it was for a minute there uh, to to segue how the widow got there in the first place was because she obviously cares about guys. She cares about Tilda. But for a moment there, did you think she made the wrong decision by removing the needle from Ankara in order for Ankara to grab for a her? Minute, show well. Her? Well, I didn't know. I was like, I, I, so that's scene, so it opens back up and right and and Baji's like sticking these things. I don't understand how. Oh, I really don't understand how the needles. I guess, I guess it's like a pressure, pressure point pressure or something. Point. Yeah, okay. Right. So yeah. It, so it, it it does something where it quells that, which is interesting. Like it immobilizes her or something, so she can't. 
used the gift and stuff. Her. Right. So, yeah. yeah, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect when that happened. And then she gives her the vision and then was like, but again, she's playing these weird games. You and... didn't know if she's lying or not. Right. Right. Huge. But it was. And it, it, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, it's funny how Baji's the one that's like, I don't know if we can trust her. And Sonny's like, well, she hasn't lied to us yet. Right. The roles are burst. And he's like, dude. And, and you know, and here's the other thing. Yeah. I I really enjoyed that scene between uh, Baji and Ankara because there was. Which it one? Was the, when they were talking and she's like, he's like, why do you care about me now? And she's like, oh, I remember when you were little, this little chubby boy. And he's like, oh, I was chubby. <laughs> and, you know, the thing is, that was a really good scene. I enjoyed that scene. The some of the not some, all of the writing, but there are there are portions that yeah. really stand out and it's these certain and it's these particular lines especially Ankara and and Baji where it's just like it's very heartwarming and it makes what happens at the end even even more heart-wrenching because you know it, mm. uh, uh, of the, of the rapport that you end up seeing these two people have. We got a glimpse in seeing. Then yeah. she talks about Magnus and how she cared for him like a son. And then we got that whole backstory. And that she, Yeah, that was what I was going to say. So the yeah. Black Lotus, we now know, uh, destroyed Azra, b- partly because of her. Because she because helped him she find helped it. find it, yeah. Yeah, it was, I mean, it's cool. And, and dude, it's, it's like, we've been hearing the word Azra since the beginning. And it's like, here we are, we're getting some of some really interesting information. We find out that, that Sunny Bod, uh, Sunny Pilgrim, and Kanan were the only three to to survive. Yep. Uh, well, for a moment to leave Azra, because remember, Ankara thinks that Kanan's dead. Thinks Kanan's uh, dead. We also found out that Kanan's the only one. Sunny's sister is the only one that can unlock his gift. So I so I think it's safe to assume just, just she cool locked his gift. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, well, now we know. Yeah. That's a hundred percent. So we knew that from the flashback scene, you know, on the boat. That but we didn't was, know it was her, though. Her. And also, no, but we kind of we assumed I mean, it. Kind we of assumed assume it. So. Here's the other thing. Now you don't watch previews, but she is in the previews. She shows up. I actually, I actually. Okay, did you watched see... it again. Okay, so you saw. I mean, they bring him back there. to yeah. Black. What do they? What do you call it? Squ- what the hell did he call it? Black Claw, Claw's Nest, or something like that. They called it uh, to go back to their base or whatever. Yeah. What I forget what they called it now. Oh, the Lotus you're talking. The Lotus, right? So, yeah. and then we see, and then we see Kanan right, in, in the preview. Yeah. So we know Kanan's coming up in episode 13, which is great. Uh, I'm just trying to look at. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. what else you got? Because, I mean, no, that's. I mean, we we we're we're buzzing through it. Actually, it was. Uh, you know, like I said, it's it, without getting into next week's episode i'm kind of curious mm-hmm. about how kane is involved with the black clothes if she is or or she just somehow realizes that sunny's there and she's there to break him free we only see it for we? a split second so so who knows but um what would you say did we ever i did we talk about previous like in the beginning of the season did we talk about possibly kane and being i think we did that she was unwanted like being made to work for the bad guys like like being made to work for the black lotus to find sunny i think we said that i think we had a conversation about that i'm not sure yeah i'm pretty sure because i remember i remember saying it looks like i'm thinking you know theory wise is she working for them just to be able to find sunny and then she's gonna break him free or run away with him but she's not doing it she's See, doing it under her, not you know basically under duress or not of her own free will or she's be- playing mm. both sides is she being like a, a double agent type thing i think i still now seeing that we I may think have she spoke is, about that a I'm bit, but i don't know sure i mean did. wouldn't you think that wouldn't you think that she would be the one that's leading these guys instead of magnus to find her brother you know i don't know i mean it it definitely Listen, looks like she wasn't in black lotus gear in the, in the she was she wasn't so that's why I'm thinking so, maybe it's um, just saying. You, you know? also you also see Sonny kind of busting out of the chains. So I'm wondering how that's gonna that's gonna work. I mean, do we? Is there anything else that we really? I don't want to rush through it because we have some questions. But I'm just looking. No, uh, I think uh, I, I just mean a lot of just a lot of cool info. Look, just a lot of we got lot a lot more stuff, about the man. gift, and we're look, seeing everyone's seen how it, much dude. more they see everybody it. is using the, yeah. these these abilities and and so many interesting and and fascinating. We're gonna ways. we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see people getting it back. So and Sun even said, "How do yeah. I get this back?" And he can't. So yeah, no man. I think I think look. I think we pushed through it. I think I think we said a lot of stuff. Look, you, right. you watch the episode. I I I feel like I said what I want to say. I really want to talk about Baji. I want to talk about. 
about Baji and Ankar because well, those oh well, yeah, we got a couple questions on that, but let's talk about it real quick because again, that between between the acting and the music and Magnus, like that mm -hmm. was that was probably one of the best scenes that, yeah. in the show. That whole scene was yeah. probably one of the best scenes that they've ever that they've ever put on the show, because mm -hmm. here are two characters like right before it happened, they we got to see a glimpse into their, you know, we got to see a side of both Ankara and Baji. It was it was as if they were old friends again, you know, and she tr was training him again, and and then this happens and he pops in and he's a he's a monster and it's and I don't yeah. think it's any I don't think it's any coincidence that they got an actor to look similar to. Um, uh, the Baron to what's his name to Quinn? Oh, to Quinn. Yeah, you know a lot what of I'm saying? saying that. Yeah. Because it's... that guy looks that guy looks super familiar. I, I... Well, he's been in a bunch of stuff. Too, I think though, he yeah. he wasn't in Game of Thrones. He was he wasn't the one that cut Arya's hair to sneak around at King's Landing. No, right? I don't believe so. I was looking. I was on. I was on his IMDb earlier, and I didn't. Okay, because I, I mean, like that might look like I mean, that could, dude. Could but... be. He might have been. I, maybe um, I missed it. But anyway, Ankara. Yeah. I mean, sh so so. You th I like you think Ankara is about to throw down, and I'm like, this is yeah. going to be dope watching this old lady yeah. throw down. And then, all but of then a sudden she gets stopped, and I'm like, and I was like, well, wait, why? But she's got the pe like, why wouldn't she? Yeah. But is it? But is she like? Then it like right. All all this is happening. I'm thinking like, oh crap, maybe she is a little too old to wield this power. Or she hasn't wielded it in this way in a long time because she was stopped and then all of a sudden, she, like she was being held and she didn't. You would think someone with the with the gift would be like, and like you know, because that's like the kryptonite that they have. That weapon must be. It's like it's it's like dragon glass or oh. if you were, if you were to dip something. Do we know in that kryptonite and no? But that's what I'm assuming. I mean, because okay. like you said, I felt the same way. Like here okay. we go, it's gonna be on, and then these. It was like um. It was like chain with like a like ball like a ball. Well, it was a mace. Yeah, they were like yeah, yeah. they were like it was like and then two they maces just wrapped in it, yeah. around her and and she was stuck. So I'm thinking it's like uh, like a suppressor thing. Like it, okay, it just... could be it could be that might be something we see later. I just don't recall any of that happening previously. Yeah. But you know, uh, and then Baji just gets it and it's just like listen, it makes sense because these people hunt the people with the gifts. So, so why they wouldn't would, they have a kryptonite? They would have tools. Wait, wait, them. wait, wait. What because, do we wait? What do you... Because then Magnus turns off her gift. How the hell does he know how to turn off the gift? And if you notice, he have some and if you know, well, he trained with them. Don't forget, he trained with them for years. Yeah, he yeah, and he true. didn't have the gift. He was a he was a scholar that mm. didn't have a gift, but he trained yeah. with them. So Ankara probably showed him some tricks. And it's like Baji. Baji knows how to turn it off. Yes, but Baji has the glow. He didn't have the glow. Go back and watch. There was no glow. He just did a thing. He pressure pointed her. Yeah. and turned it off. So yeah. if you're if you're a non gift user or haver or dark one or whatever yeah or chosen one you can still turn it off now that's that's interesting so he turned it off there was I was looking for the glow he didn't have the glow and then yeah and then Baji wakes up and that happens and I was I was heartbroken I was like but I mean it we did a, see Baji get so sudden stabbed too. before he got stabbed no. at the end of season two but he got the scissors on the barber in the barber chair yeah but it wasn't he wasn't run through. No, and he was... runs through, and she flips out, and I loved it. I I thought mm -hmm. that was fantastic. And she was like, just just her words, you know. She yeah. says, "Baji, no," and it was just like it was heartbreaking. And then he, yeah. and I didn't think he was gonna do it to her. And then he yeah. went and did it. It was yeah, it was just like ruthless, man, brutal. It was, it was absolutely. It was, it was just brutal. like the guy walked in, held held on Kara. His boys held on Kara with those weapons. It was like zip, zip, and that was it. Oh man, that brings us into. That brings us to a question from Jay. Let's get into some of these questions. So this video isn't. Um, Jay asked, do you think Baji isn't dead? I think the heartbeat at the end of at, at the end were the writing the writers trying to sell his death to us. Right. Uh, I think Ankara will use her last ounce of life to save Baji the same way Baji healed Ren. What do you what do you think of that? I I, mean, I would I would like to believe that. I would like to think that she, yeah. yeah, she'll reach over and possibly give the last of her dying energy to him. Yeah. He might even get his gift back. 
She it might heal him. He might. He might. She might get his gift back. I don't know, dude. Yeah. That might be. I'll. I'll be okay with that. I will absolutely be okay. Oh, with I'll that. be okay with that too. Because if you were, I mean, the Twitter outrage was 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 crazy. Mm-hmm. It was just. Um, it would be something to see, and I would like that. And I think it's still a possibility because I was watching so closely because you heard his breaths, and then eventually it, it just stopped. So could she roll over? We didn't see her. No, necessary. You know, it, they yeah. they 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 shot right at just at Baji. So yeah. could she roll over, put her hand on his chest on the wound or something like that? Mm-hmm. Um, we obviously know she can do this kind of stuff. So that's um, a definite possibility. I'm I'm agreeing with that. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm I would like to with go that. with that too. Yeah, good. Yeah, Jay, I we agree with you. I want to. Uh-huh. I want that to happen. <laughs> I want that to happen yeah, so I badly. Want that to happen too. Yeah. I want that to happen. Um, I mean, uh, Angelus brings up kind of like the same the same point. Here's another cool one from Jay uh, for both of us. Uh, if if you guys woke up in the Badlands with the gift, would you join the Master, the Team Pilgrim, or go independent? Um, knowing that you stand less of a chance uh, if the Black Lotus find you. Uh, now, does that go at it like just living or fighting against Pilgrim? Uh, I mean, I guess that's with the scenario and what's. I'm going to tell out you now. what I honestly, honestly, yeah, I would probably go with the Master so I could reach my full potential yeah. using that gift because I think alone, look what's happened to MK. He yeah. like, yeah, he's got a lot of issues, you know, quote unquote mommy issues, right? He's got a lot yeah. of sunny slash mommy issues. So he's not really reaching his full potential. Neither was Nick's, neither has Caster, because they're all using it for one specific thing and it's to be badasses and, and assholes. But I would want I'd want to unlock my gift. So I'd probably train. I think I'd go yeah. and train with the master. And if it's against Pilgrim, I'd still want to side with the master. Well, I mean, you can use MK is the perfect example of this because MK is 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 playing from both sides at one point or another. So I guess it depends on where we we where we all started from. Yeah. If we were if we were like MK, we were special. We were in the monastery. Depending on how that went with well, the that master, didn't that knows? didn't work we for him. Could, it didn't work for him. I know. That's the I know. So, so maybe MK is not as would, golden as we think. Oh, well, we'd that like that him to be. Work for yourself. That's true. I, guess I still think he's going to turn. I still think he's going to turn. That's... Oh, I think he's going to turn 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah. What I about you? Go with, I would probably go with the master, you know, myself. Oh, we'd be roommates, knowing, buddy. Yeah, we'd knowing, be roommates. What, uh, knowing what. We'd go to uh, lunch together. You know. We could practice bow staffs together. Yeah, making uh, origami cranes. Oh, we could practice our origami. <laughs> It'll be fun. Everyone would hate uh, us because we'd make dick jokes. And they'd yeah. hate it. <laughs> We'd make origami dicks. We'd make origami it. dicks and put them under people's pillows. It'd be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did net. We never did that in college, guys. No, no, we didn't do anything like that. Um, we used right. markers oh, on trees, but we, that, that's besides a couple the point. Of carvings. Is that <laughs> carvings? Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot the carvings we did. Ke- Keanu right? Uh, Keanu wrote a couple of things. She just kind of chimed in with them. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, on a scale from one to ten, how would you rate Ju- the Juliet death scene uh, with Minerva? I mean, we both really enjoyed brutal. that stuff. I think that was my favorite brutal. scene, uh, fight scene of the I'm night. I'm gonna go so ahead and say brutal. It was, it was. First of all, when she landed on on the two on the on the the swings on the swings, I was like, yeah. oh, that's gotta hurt. And then she came down, and I was like, I, right. I, I just thought she was gonna stab her through the chest. I did not expect the 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 head she roll was sliding down the chain. Yeah, the dude. That, I'm sorry, but that was dope. That was sick. Super, I enjoyed that. Super. Super dope. Um, she she also asked about what do you guys think about the torturing Gaius with you know with the scene with the torch, fucking super brutal. She was placing this fucking torch around this guy's chest. I mean, just the background, just being in the carnival and her entering through the mouth of the the clown was, yeah. was sick. And and for the widow to do that too. Um, she also writes, uh, we this is the last one we'll do. Um, we saw Ankara use her gift to give Minerva the the foresight. As you see, uh, we keep learning more and more about the gift through each episode. Uh, what would you guys say would be a great way to see the gift utilized as that we haven't seen already? I mean, we've gotten a lot, and that's what I was saying earlier. Like from the beginning, and uh, and just the the speculation about Azra to what we're learning now, and that it was a physical place, and, and what happened to it. So what, what's I the mean, question? Whether or not what other things we think the gift can do. Not, uh, not necessarily what we think it can do, but what would, um, what would we want right. it to do? Yeah, as as that we haven't seen already. 
Um, I don't know, I you mean, got something? I mean, ugh, we've seen some really cool stuff. I mean, we've maybe, seen like stuff a, that, like, maybe like a um, like a transport thing, like a warp thing. Like I can go from here, and then all of a sudden I'm outside of the Badlands, like a like a teleportation thing. I would, or something. I would, I would say bring that down a little bit, scale that back, and make it so that you teleport to one side of the room. If not teleport, but like speed to the other side of the room. Like you're ghosting to the other side of the room or something, you know. I don't know about going yeah. about being like going outside and going to another location, but I think using it in combat, yeah, maybe. Um, I, I, I mean, well, listen, we saw Ankara do the Jedi mind trick stuff, kind of like the Luke, yeah, well, telekinetic paper. stuff, yeah, I like the we telekinetic saw stuff. We the saw the master. She visualized. She did. She walked. She walked herself into yeah. into into Ankara, so they have walk powers. That's cool. Yeah. Game of Thrones, that's good. Yeah. Um. I, honestly, I don't know. Flying? Maybe they could fly. That'd be dope. That would be dope. I mean, they basically fly anyway. They they defy. Yeah. They definitely defy gravity. That's for sure. Yeah, that would be. But, that would be a, a cool thing. But I mean, like I said, we were talking earlier in the episode too about what what abilities we haven't seen from the master. Well, that's yet. the point. Yeah. You know, if she's gonna me. kick it up a notch now, if she's gonna unlock she, hers. Is, is there a future thing? Does does the master know all? Does the master know well, all? That's right, the thing. I think fight. she does see the future. That's I the think thing. so too. That's I think so thing. too. You know, um, even on Kara, she was able to show. You know, she's able to show Minerva. You know, what she basically she showed her the present. Yeah. At that point. Yeah, so it's well, no, because she did show because she Tilda wasn't wasn't uh, being tortured as of yet, and she showed her being tortured, and then it went to the scene to, of her torture. So she did show her the a glimpse of what's yeah the future come um, yeah. Um, so very very cool stuff. I mean, that was what that was episode we had four that was so episode far. Twelve. So we have yeah, that was four, four more. Um, super crazy. I can't wait to see what happens with um Baji next week if it is in fact uh if we if even see Baji, yeah. if uh, yeah if what everybody's predicting well we're gonna meet kanan which is which is which is really cool that's, that's probably the biggest thing too yeah is i'm looking forward how to is she going to be uh because i think you hear sunny say like who are you or something like that right don't right. you hear something like that yeah, yeah so that's going to be interesting how she's introduced and who she's working for if she's working for the black lotus if she's not if she's there to sneak him out um, let's see. Um, super cool. Anything else for you to say, Chris? Anything else? Um, I really enjoyed Baji in the car. That whole scene was really funny, yeah. man, when they were driving and he's just trying to like get everyone going and like trying to talk to everyone and yeah. nobody is just like, everyone's just Everybody's like, just sitting yeah, in the back. and they're all just sitting in there. And I just, I just like seeing the widow sitting in the back seat of a car. Like we've never seen that in the show. We've never and seen, Cara's head is just you know, sitting on. Nick's on Nick's shoulder. We've never just seen them like on a road trip before. And I That's thought true. that was cool. I thought that was interesting. That was and and fun. and Sonny's like, you know I'm gonna kill this bitch, right? He's like, I don't yeah. I don't trust her. And I, and it, it was really good. I just enjoyed mm -hmm. it again. I just fantastic stuff. The writing is so fun. I just I'm really yeah. enjoying this these these episodes. And it, it, you know, and again, yeah, we haven't we mentioned it, but you know, once this episode, but I'm uh, I'm mad. I'm upset and mad that you know people people know people know yeah. exactly how we feel so we share the same feelings with everybody oh whatever this was this was this was this is it's 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 getting I know. like you guys are right everyone sherman Lewis, daniel you guys are imagine all imagine right, how they you know? feel too especially being working for the show it must be i know doubly it's gotta you know, suck it's uh, gotta uh, suck but yeah, you know got, but obviously got, and and, and you, you know they've said it to us and, and and other places like you know they're they're super proud and they absolutely should be because oh, this yeah. is this oh, is yeah. fantastic and i think lewis is right i think it's gonna be this is gonna be a cult hit i've got a, i've got a bunch of dvd box sets of shows that did not make it you know if in the long haul that i absolutely love yeah you know? they turn out to be classics after and them. and but you get to go what uh, yeah you get to go see that stuff but hey listen we're, we're, we'll have our big farewell stuff later on let, let right now Super excited to see what happens next episode. Cannot wait to see what goes down. Um, I mean, damn, just damn, just good, damn, good, good great damn. stuff. Damn. Well, let us know, let us know how you feel uh, about uh, episode 12, twelve. Cobra Fang Panther Claw Panther in the comment Cobra section Fang. below. Um, don't forget, we have the hashtag Save the Badlands stuff out there. Daniel even said, "Let's do the hashtag Emmy for the Badlands." Who knows? Emmy for Badlands. Yep. 
nomination, a win, might change this whole scenario that we're talking it. about it right might now. Change it, but it's really it's uh, also to get get. They deserve the recognition. Just oh, get, absolutely, they deserve That's it. True, even even if even if the nothing mo- comes one from of the that, most remarkable programs on TV today. It's they, it's they, definitely they well deserve well it, deserved so. that way. So check us out, yeah. Third Person Pod, on all the social medias. We're usually tweeting during these episodes um, live. I'm sorry if there's any kind of spoiler stuff. We've been trying to put a lot of spoiler stuff in um, in our posts. So uh, if you have the, been or haven't been, we have been. So uh, on the West Coast stuff. Um, you know, I'm sorry if <laughs> don't go on Facebook, don't go on social media is when yeah. the show uh, before you see it because it's tough. People just want to talk about they it and talk about it, spoilery yeah. stuff usually comes yeah. out. Uh, sorry about that again, but check us out, Third Person Pod, and all the social media stuff. Well, uh, we're there. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's it. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, we love the show. We love you. And we'll see you for the next episode for Into the Badlands. Yep. Good night.